Here's the ingredients we're gonna need for our sweet chili garlic pasta. So we have one small chopped onion, a heaping tablespoon of minced garlic, one half cup of unsweetened almond milk. We're gonna use one full container of the sweet chili garlic hummus. I'll show you the lid here. It's made by Boar's Head. And then we're gonna do a very little bit, about a half of a teaspoon, just the tip there, of this Better Than Bouillon vegetable broth. It just really deepens the flavor, really gives it a nice addition. We will not need any salt, but we will need a little bit of pepper. Other than, of course, I salt the water when I'm making pasta, always. So the pasta that we're gonna use today is zero points on the purple plan, and we're gonna use the red lentil pasta. So the first thing we're gonna do while we're getting our sauce going, I have three cups of water in this pot, along with the whole bag, which was 12 ounces, of the red pasta. The reason we're doing this, we are not gonna strain this. The pasta is gonna soak up that little bit of water. Normally, if you were gonna strain your pasta, you would put a whole lot more water in than that, but we're actually gonna utilize this. So we're gonna let it kind of soften while we work on our sauce. All right, let's get started. So you need a food processor. This is my bigger food processor. Let me show you, this is a KitchenAid. And you guys know, I have two food processors. I have one that I use for my nice cream that's a mini. Unless I'm doing nice cream for several people, then I use the big one. So this is my bigger one, but you can kind of tell it's not huge. It sits on my counter just fine. So you do need a food processor. This is gonna be really easy. So we're gonna start with our hummus and you're just gonna toss it in here. So I will link my favorite food processor down below in the description box. I always get mine at Amazon. I don't know. It's just kind of easier to buy it on Amazon. You know, most of us have that Prime membership, so it ships for free. You get it usually within a day or two. And it's just easier so I don't have to get out in the cold and do the shopping myself and lug it around. So that, oops, is about how much of the Better Than Bullion that I'm gonna use. Not a lot. We don't need a lot of that. We're just flavoring it. Okay, then last, we're gonna go ahead and throw in our unsweetened almond milk. And, okay, and I grabbed the pepper. We're just gonna throw some of that in as well. Now, let's get our lid on. Hear it click, and then we know we're ready. Let's get it going. Okay, that's done. I just tasted it and it tastes delicious. You know, if you taste it and it doesn't taste good to you, that is just not a good sign. So you definitely wanna make any adjustments when you're at this stage. All right, we're just gonna take it right off here and go pour it over our pasta. So let's just head over and do that. All right, now you guys can see See how that pasta looks kind of, you know, the water looks very, very starchy. That's totally fine. We're just gonna use that because we want the pasta to be a nice al dente and it's just gonna cook in our sauce. So we'll just pour that in and now we're gonna let this cook on low for maybe 10 minutes or so you're just basically cooking it to your taste in terms of how soft or not soft you want your pasta. Doesn't that look delicious? It's so creamy. It's like, it creates like a rosé. 
And by the way, you guys ask me this a lot and I always forget to respond because I do sometimes have bloggers that like to um, post these recipes. So a lot of times people will ask me if these are duplicated from somewhere and they are not. If I am copying someone's recipe, I will always, always, always tell you guys and reference where I got it from and also link it. So for the most part, I create recipes just because I enjoy it. So I've made this before since I started purple because I won't bring you guys a recipe until I've tried it because, you know, what if it was terrible? So this one I really, really like. So I'm going to get a lid on this and let it start cooking down. Okay, we have been cooking about, I would say, eight minutes or so. It smells delicious. I added a little pepper in here. Now, you guys, this is a spicy dish because it's got the sweet chili. Not super spicy, but if you're sensitive to a little bit of heat on your palate, this might be a little spicy for you. Now, this could be done. The pasta is a little bit al dente to where you could definitely eat it. Very good. I'm gonna thin it out just a little. This is just water. I'm gonna say I put about a quarter cup of water in there. Just want to get it moving around just a little bit. I like my pasta al dente, but not too much. So, and that amount of water won't change the flavor at all. So we're going to leave this simmering on low, go a little bit longer. That pasta is pretty much done. So the last thing we're going to do is just chop up a little bit of flat leaf Italian parsley. Just go right to the edge there. Oh, I can smell that. You know, that's my thing with fresh herbs. If you can't smell it, then to me, it's not going to be any good. You, you know, kind of like cilantro, parsley, basil. If you don't know what it is by, you know, the smell of it, then to me, it's, it's no good. So, we are going to throw this in pasta. Grab my food mover. All right, let's head over, you guys. Oh, that looks so good. All right. Kind of toss some of that in. I'm going to turn this off because this is done. How good does that look? Does this not look absolutely fantastic? It is spicy and creamy at the same time. The parsley really takes the heat down a little bit and gives it just that right amount of lift that you need, just a little bit of fresh herbs. This is coming out to three smart points on purple for about three quarters cup. So that's what I have here is about three quarters of a cup. I got eight servings out of it, so you know you can kind of adjust from there. But really, the only thing you're taking points on pretty much, if you're on purple, is going to be the hummus. So the entire container of hummus is 22 points. You can divvy it up however you want. I will have the recipe below, but this is delicious. 